Let's start the show! Hey everyone, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com, personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Fingers crossed, hopefully one more time. We, sh we are like, looks like you've been able to get some sleep. Ah! Hey Ian. Hit and miss. I actually booked Monday off of work so I could recover. Uh, but I had to wake up early to drop Steph off, Steph off at the, the train station. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to clip the, the marathon videos and make the post to post that this weekend. That took my entire morning. I decided to get my hair done. That was around lunch. I ran some errands. I redecorated back here. And then all of a sudden, it's the afternoon. I got to pick up Steph. Steph wanted to go shopping. Um, and then that was like the whole evening. So <laughs> I did not get as much rest as I should have. Uh, right after the marathon, I went and took a nap for like two hours, two or three. And then I was kind of shaky from there, but I did get to go to bed at like a regular time. Uh, but yes, thank you so much, Ian, for hanging out. Um, thank you to everybody that donated. We've gotten a couple of donations after the fact. So we are now at, uh, let me check this total here. It's over $1,200 now. So we just crossed uh, 1000 at the end of the marathon, we are now at, hold on, we are now at $1,218, which is amazing, and I appreciate the support. Um, one of the quirks, though, is that some of the donations, the information got lost along the way, like who it is attributed to. So if you made a donation and... Uh, I don't have the info, like, if you know you put in your name and it's listed as anonymous, uh, please reach out to me, uh, you can DM me on Twitter, uh, it's probably the best way, and we'll, we'll sort that out so you can get your Pokemon card. Uh, but, yeah, a couple of other donations that we have to shout out, Maria donated a couple of times, uh, shout outs to, uh, my father-in-law, actually, uh, John, thank you for the donation, later levels donation went through. There's a couple of other ones that were anonymous. Uh, thank you for those. And um, I guess back to my channel for a second. Uh, shout outs to Expressive Code for renewing your sub. Thank you so much. And the real reason we're here today. Uh, Marathon was great. We can talk about kind of the behind the scenes stuff uh, in, as we play. But right now we've got to play the final dungeon here in Link's Awakening. Woo. So yeah, Ian, how you doing? How was uh, grandma's, yours and grandma's birthday? Also, happy, happy birthday, BT Dubs. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. I remember this boss or like this dungeon being annoying, but not so much that it was like super hard. There was one particular thing I messed up repeatedly. And it was a foolish mistake on my part. But I think I can do this without a guide. I hope I can do this without a guide. And Ian says, thanks, it was a good time, but we were all exhausted after. It was nice to get home Sunday and crash. Fantastic. Ian says, yeah, well, I didn't think this dungeon was as bad as Eagle Tower. Yeah, I got through most of it except for one thing that I got stuck on for over an hour and then realized that I just made a dumb mistake. It was like, I, I struggled so bad to how to figure out how to get to this one dungeon, like one room with a chest, and all I had to do was just walk straight ahead. But it'd be like that sometimes. Ooh. All right, mini boss time. And so yeah, again, thank you to everybody that dropped by during our our marathon. It was, I thought, like one, I love the, the outpouring of support, all the donations that came in. Um, 
the the amount of viewers we had really surprised me and not so much that like there were a lot like the marathons do draw in because you're streaming for 25 hours straight but the fact that there were viewers the entire time and that was so cool to me that um there were just you guys were keeping us company the entire night like when we did this last year pretty much from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning there was just no one and it was really tough for people streaming the overnight to like have stuff to say but um you guys really came through and i hope you enjoyed the show And the overnight part, like, Randy and Maria's part, I have no idea what happened. I haven't watched it. And Randy says, yeah, it was tough. Also, hey, Randy. Welcome back. So did you find it a lot easier this year doing that overnight shift? Uh, versus the last time around? Hey, there we go. And Randy says, having Mary around made things so much better. Nice! She was very cool. It was cool to meet her as part of this event. And... And what was I going to say? Um... And yeah, it was cool that she was able to stick around after you left. And yeah, it wasn't weird at all. So that was great. Hey, we got the compass. This comp Oh yeah, we don't need to read that part. Uh oh. Wait, yeah, ready? Have you fully recovered from extra life? I know you had to like go to work right after her. <laughs> And Randy says, I know you meant it genuinely, but it wasn't weird at all. It's only, it's only something you should say when it was weird. Hmm. Okay, sorry. There we go. Ah, I jumped right into the hole. Da -na -na -na. All right, we got this key, and now we keep it moving. Ian says, "I've been using that phrase all along." <laughs> You're still sleepy. Ah, sorry to hear that. Hopefully, in the next few days, you will be able to recover um yeah i've still been sleeping a lot on the train just trying to catch up on sleep work has thankfully been a little little easier and i got a, i got a bit of time to play luigi's mansion i'm not very far in it at all i there's a lot of like cutscenes at the beginning oh yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes in the beginning of the game, but I, I, they look fantastic. I think they did a fantastic job of breathing life into that world and giving Luigi in particular like, just so much animation and life and emotion in the way that he moves and so many unique animations. It's awesome. At least the, bar the parts I have played thus far. So yeah, I'm less than an hour in, but... I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I know both of you guys were like kind of iffy on picking it up. And I will not pressure you into buying it if you if you're not that interested, but so far it seems pretty good. I don't know when I'm going to stream it though. It's the timing of it's really weird because next week 
Uh, Ian and I will hopefully play Pokemon Let's Go, and then I should be streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield after that. And I don't know if I'm going to do, like, a full Let's Play for that, like, front to back. I think we'll just kind of stream where I'm at. Maybe Luigi's Mansion after that. I think it would be easier to do a full Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion than uh, Pokemon, because Pokemon's going to be a much longer game. Ian says, the only reason I'm waiting on it is because I have to save money for my anniversary trip. That is fair. Um, the trip to Pennsylvania will probably be great. And priorities. Randy says, I already picked it up and played it with a friend last night. Ah, cool. Does that have just straight up co-op in it? Like, can someone just play as Gooigi? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Take your ball and go home. Ah! Randy says, yeah, once you unlocked Gooigi about an hour in, someone can take over. Ah, okay. So I know Rachel mentioned she wasn't sure if you could do co-op, but... Alright, that's great. Oh. Alright, we're like super far. Also, I should mark these. So, let's go heart and heart. Mm, I can't remember the exact trick to this. Ooh. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah, buddy. So yeah, Randy, what do you think of Luigi's Mansion so far? Oh. Ah. Just tag me in the head. <laughs> Is there some sort of trick? Am I supposed to break every single one of these, or am I going to get screwed by breaking all of these again? We'll break them all, see what happens. Hey, there we go. Is there... Oh, oh no, I already have a fairy. Oh. We should get her, though. Ah! Uh-oh. Ah, there it is. Oh, I don't even need that. That's okay. Let's... Oh. So we circled all the way around, and... We still have other stuff to check out. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Randy says, It's clever. We only played a couple hours, but it's charming so far. I think that's the big, the big selling point of Luigi's Mansion, is that charm. And just how much unique stuff they make Luigi do in that game. It's it's really charming and Oh no. Am I Uh oh. Oh uh, no. I done goofed. Woo! Yeah, I'm curious to see how well Luigi's Mansion sells. I I feel like that game has the potential to really blow up for the for Luigi's Mansion relative to the other Luigi's Mansion games. The fact that it's on the Switch and this seems like a really good version of it and in particular just the the graphics on it are so good and it feels like they even more fully realizing the vision of Lu what Luigi's Mansion can be and seeing like all the objects in the world move around and Luigi having even more unique kind of expressions and reactions to everything along the way. It's very cool. There we go. Open that up and now we move on. Oh, no. Okay, so we can't do anything there right now. That's okay. 
We probably do have to kill this guy, though. Ooh. Ian says, if the other big Nintendo series are any indication, I imagine this to be the best-selling version of Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I I hope so. Nintendo's been, been crushing it, and the sales for their games have been so good, but also Nintendo's been putting out arguably the best versions of each of their franchises on the Switch, and it's been fantastic as a Nintendo fan just getting all these amazing games. Zap them. Oh! Okay. Woo! Uh, which version are you guys getting? Are you getting Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield? Uh, yeah, they are doing some great stuff right now. Mm-hmm. I have pre-ordered Sword, but... Galarian Ponyta makes me think I should have gotten shield instead. Oh, man. How was I supposed to know? Oh, um... We should mark this. Spade. You're not gonna get either version. Ah, okay. Ooh, I haven't decided yet. I kind of like shield for the gym leaders, but sword for the Pokemon. Hmm. I have not followed the the details on which gym leaders are where i just made a decision many months ago that i was gonna get uh pokemon sword because sword i like swords better than shields <laughs> but maybe i would have changed i would have picked something different had i waited but that's okay maybe i will just buy the other one after the fact And Randy says, I have, I won't be getting either. Totally understandable. I know you have had issues getting through those games. and mm -mm. This one was, I think, the one where you have to bomb everything. Let's see how few... There we go. Oh, what? There's a hole here, right? Nope. Oh, wait. There it is. There's the secret. Hmm. Get my salt bay on over here. Don't have a key, though. Alright, that's too bad. And what are your thoughts on the, the leaks? I have, thankfully, uh, not been exposed to any of those. I don't know if you guys have gone through and read what was involved, seen the Pokemon that made or didn't make the list. It depends on the game. Like, sometimes I, re I don't want that stuff spoiled for me at all. Other times, like, I, I want all the spoilers. I think in this particular case, I'm just, I am not as passionate enough of a Pokemon fan to be like, oh man, I, I need to know, or like, be like, oh, I need to actively stay away because like, I, I don't want to ruin it for myself. It's just more like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> what happens, happens. I'm sure I will have a good time either way. Where are you going, bud? There we go. You're trying to avoid them as best I can, but since I won't play the game till Christmas, most likely I'll end up seeing some of the stuff when people share their screenshots. Yeah. I only took a look at the list of called Pokemon. Ooh, Pokemon that made the cut. Um, I think that's probably the most salacious list of them all. Uh, considering the whole National Dex controversy. And I hope your favorite Pokemon made the cut. Whoever that might be. 
Hey, we got a piece of power. Mm, I have a feeling we might be stuck, though, until we get some more keys. Actually, maybe this is a key right here. So let's do that. Da -na -na -na. Oh, okay. Sure, secret medicine's fine. Oh, I can't take it, though. Ah! And now... Huh. That makes things awkward. Hmm, okay, there's still stuff we can do. There's still stuff we can do. Let's do that first. But yeah, Ian, that's going to be really tough um, for you. If you're holding out, if you're trying to stay spoiler-free till Christmas, um, you pretty much need to unplug from the entirety of the internet. <laughs> I hope no one spoils Ring Fit Adventure for me. <laughs> I need to know what happens to Drago and, uh, Ring. Hop over. That goes through. Nice. And now we can go up here and do these things. Oh. Is there anything? No. There are stairs, though. Also a hole we can bump. Randy says, your game on Twitch is still Ring Fit, by the way. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's really bad. Rookie mistake. Uh, let's fix that right now. Thank you for flagging that. Oh, man, I messed up. Oh, no. Uh, all, all the... All the mistakes. I didn't update anything. <laughs> I'm usually on top of this stuff. I set the... Casual... Set the tags and everything like days before. And I messed up large. I'm sorry about that. But thank you for flagging it. <laughs> it's just, what is the final exercise? I have to know. Yeah, I wonder what they save the final, what is the final exercise. What they would think is the thing we have to save to the very end. I think it's like burpees. Burpees were always a super annoying exercise of just having to like jump up and then squat down and it was a lot. <laughs> I don't know what flipping that thing does right this second. But here's some stairs. Oh, this is like the very end of the game. Okay, we'll put that as a square. That's like super late game stuff. I have been hearing about the horrors of the mountain climbers exercise, which I'm not looking forward to. I don't know what that is, but I'm. if you're not looking forward to it, I'm not looking forward to it. Where can we go? Like what? How do we get to this one? How do we get to that one? Oh, hold on. I'm pretty sure this one's actually not that hard to get. I think I was in this room. Oh, you have to light the thing up. But I don't... Oh, you need the fire rod. So yes, we can't get that to like later, later. Um, so I guess what we're looking to do... Is probably get this chest. I think. How we get to that chest, I don't know just yet. Of course, I could be totally wrong. And we could be here all night trying to figure this out. Oh yeah, that's okay. Uh, I don't actually know how to get to that one. 
Is it just as simple as... Or is it one of the ones where you have to move all the way around the map? You're already doing what I didn't think to do until way late in this dungeon. Pinning the staircases to match them. Yep, I didn't do that till way late either. Uh-oh. Nope. I feel like this is one. Is this one where you had to completely fill the whole thing? Nope. I feel like it is. Let's try it. Nope. No, it's not. It can't be. It can't be. You couldn't possibly fill the whole thing. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so how then do we get to this chest? Am I sure that this has to be the one? I guess is my next question. Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted, but <laughs> we'll take it. Is it just a silly thing of like I can push one of these? Wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. Alright. So some of these can go. Oh, that's the map! Oh. <laughs> I needed a key! I don't care about the map right now! Also, there's one room I totally whiffed on right here. Okay, let's go back to that. For everyone just tuning in, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. And I'm hoping to finish Link's Awakening tonight. We'll see if that's actually going to be a thing that happens. Ah. Though I am willing to stay up a little later to get this done because... I gotta... We gotta stick to a schedule. We have Ian coming on the channel next week. Next Wednesday, if all goes according to plan. I should tag those stairs. Because that's probably really important. And then we'll see what happens from there. I know we'll be doing some more Tetris on the weekends, because that's what we do. And then I'll have to figure out some other... I don't know what I'm... <laughs> After that, what the next thing is. Like, is it Paper Mario? I know we'll do that, like, next year. I just don't know when. Diamond. Bump, 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 bump. All right, what could the next thing be? Sure, let's talk to this owl guy and see what the deal. Also, 
This is diamond. There we go. Wait, did that just take me back here? That's not the answer I wanted. That is not the answer I want. Oh, hold on. I think they're here. Right there. Okay, let's go there. Here's a question. Uh, what is the longest gap? Like, how the longest it's taken you from the start, the first time you ever played a game to the time you beat it? What? How long did it take you to do that? Months? Are there games that you started years beforehand and then only beat, like, way later when you got older? Or anything like that? And we should tag this spade oh this is an ice one damn okay starting to run out of options here is it this So this whole section, there's a key here. I'm missing... I don't think I can get this chest until I get the fire rod. I don't think I could be completely wrong. Or is it this one? Yeah, is there a way for me get here hmm. I is confused I know I can't do this right now though Randy says it took two to three years for me to finally beat Diddy Kong Racing that's totally fair that game is insanely hard I'm impressed that you beat that at all <laughs> And I think, yeah, an incredible game where I just think the difficulty is the the big detractor. Man, if that game was just a little easier, I think it would have been an even bigger hit. Or, like, more well-renowned today. Even though that game is still held in pretty high regard. Eh, a little bit of a roundabout approach to that, but it's okay. Yes, I know there's a thing here, but I can't... Yeah, I need the fire rod. So if it's not that, we've been to all these other spots. What am I missing here? Is it just like here? Is there like a pathway that maybe I missed? I don't think there's anything in there. I can't get this key till I have the rod. I can't do any of this stuff until I get another key. Huh. What could it possibly be? What am I missing? I 
I think Mega Man 2 took a long time for me to beat. That was one where I played it as a little kid, and I had in like the late 80s, early 90s, and I didn't beat it until the late 90s on an emulator. Oh, Drago! Welcome back! How's it going, my friend? <sighs> You've come at a very interesting point of the stream. We are in the last dungeon. And I am confused. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to circle back around. You're good. How am I today? I'm doing well. Isn't it like 1 o'clock in the morning your time? Or something crazy like that? But I appreciate you dropping by as always. I hope you enjoyed the, the marathon. We're just now back to our regularly scheduled program. And, huh. Yeah, let's do the, the middle thing. 3.40 a.m. Dude, my dude, what keeps you up so late? Man, you're a beast. On a Wednesday night, Wednesday to Thursday on a weeknight? All right, let's do this first. Go back up these stairs and let's figure some stuff out. Is there really nothing I can do right here, right now? Yes, there is nothing I can do right now. Okay. Process of elimination. We got that out of the way. Can't do that. You finished Death Road to Canada with your wife. Congratulations! I, I'm very jealous. We we have not... We've yet to beat it. I haven't gone back since the marathon. I would love to beat it at some point, though. Okay. There's gotta be something... Here. So we already know Yeah, we need a key here and lighting up the torches doesn't do anything right now. I don't think let's double check Drago is your wife really into video games like what how involved is she in the scene? So there's something here. We did that, though. We beat these guys last time. And that just led us here. Where we don't have the key. Oh, wait. Can I... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, that didn't work at all. So there's a staircase here. We've opened this, we can't do anything with it. Key, key. Do you love me? Are we riding? Oh, man. Oh, no. What am I missing? So, these stairs... I'm going to be so annoyed when I figure this out. 
She catch on fast, but she is an actress in my country. Oh, fantastic. Um, what does she act in? She act in film, act in TV, um, musicals. Like what? Yeah, what type of acting does she do? If I may ask. Okay, maybe the owl will give me the hint that I need. To defeat the monsters who hold the key, attack them from a higher place. Oh! Do I have to kill these guys? There it is! Oh! Okay. Whew. <laughs> Let me take a, a little bit of a breather here. Oh. And Drago says, series, films, thank you, Warpoint. Yes. Series, some international stuff like Jim Button. I have not heard of Jim Button, but I will look into that. Thank you, Warp. <laughs> All right. Back at it. Um, so we have a key now. Is there a particular... Like, does it matter which one? I feel like it's probably better used over here because we have, I guess it's probably not going to matter either way, but let's go with this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. Black Sails Dominion. I've heard of those. I have heard of those. I will say, though, I don't watch much TV at all uh, at, at this point. Like, I watched Walking Dead for a while until that dragged on a little too long for me personally uh, I watched a Game of Thrones to the end and right now my wife and I are watching 90 Day Fiance <laughs> and that's about it for me I always say this about um, about TV and film not enough button pressing for me I like to hit buttons when I look at a screen I think ever since I started using the internet in the early 90s, uh, that kind of ruined TV for me. I just like the experience of having control over what I see and being able to go exactly where I want as soon as... Yeah, let's go take these stairs. Oh, this is one of the ones that goes outside, doesn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay. And Drago says, I'm busy with a script. That's the reason I'm up so late writing music. Wait, up so late. Writing music is fun, but I want to finish the horror. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't know you were also a... Yeah, writing scripts. That's cool. Do you have any ambitions for acting? Actually, I'll throw that out for everybody in the chat. Uh, acting? Yeah, no. I know, Ian, you did, like, drama class, and, like, I think you took... I know acting has been part of your... your personal story. Ah, this is the, the thing I have to do with the, the bombs and the... Got it. Yeah, I took drama class in middle school and high school, but I never really had any interest in, like, making it a thing. And Drago says, my wife got me gigs, but I turned it down most times. Ah, why so?
I've always wanted to be, like, an extra in something. Just to be able to say for, like, the split second that I was, like, there. Ian says, I majored in theater. Yeah, it's not necessarily something I see myself doing again, though. Maybe the itch will hit me again, but I really haven't wanted to act since my last college show. That's fair. You got a small key. It can open a locked door. Alright, so we've got a lot to explore now, which is good. Uh, apologize, apologies for getting hung up the way I did. And Drago says, the story they want to put me in is always boring. Okay, that's fair. Um, I guess with anything, it's not it's more than just like... the uh, Just being there is not enough. If it's something that you're not interested in, then don't do it. I totally understand that. Wait, is there... This was... Yeah, this is one of the ones. That tripped me up last time. Was just this whole, like... I didn't realize there was a door right here. And then another door here. And I spent, like, two hours trying to find this chest. Hey, Games Revolution and Cola! How's it going? Long time no see. I hope you and your boyfriend are doing well. Drago got the the jet emote there. It looks a little weird, like squashed. Yeah, at least in my in my view here. What's going on there? Also, yeah, congrats on that emote, which you can unlock now with channel points. What would I want to be in if I, if they said, Jet, we need you to act in something? Like, what would I want to be in? Dream role. What would be your dream role? Like, if you could be in any film, play, production. Oh, look, ready, customizing with a pick nose. <laughs> hey, big spenders. You guys using all your channel points. <laughs> Okay, where do we want to go now? We have two keys. We can get here, I think. How do we get to that room? No, no we cannot. Um, don't know where that staircase is yet. I should have marked where the... Oh yeah, this staircase doesn't go anywhere, it just goes out here. So yeah, who cares about this? Drago says, I want to play the weeb in a film... In a film, cover up all my tattoos. Hmm. That's, that'd be quite the... The dramatic shift there. How many tattoos you got? I'm guessing a lot. I have zero tattoos. I don't know if that's obvious or not. Um, I have not been uh, interested in getting tattoos. I think I think partially the pain part of it, that doesn't sound appealing to me. But more the idea of committing to a piece of art on my body for the rest of my life. I don't know what I could commit to, personally. So we got two keys. I'm going to want to burn one here. Yeah, I have to burn one here. Yeah, I think the permanence is really the thing that freaks me out. Uh-oh. 
We've only got one more key left and we still have a bunch of doors here. Can I kill those things with arrows? Yes, yes I can. Okay. Oh, see, another thing. How would I know? Like, that's so hard to see. That is so hard to see. It's the cover-up scars on my hands and arms. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Um, I hope it wasn't too bad. Yeah, what's the story behind that, if you- I may ask? Uh, so we've got one more key left. And I'm not really sure- like, I could use it here. Alright, let's use it there. I guess worst case... I'm gonna have to open that thing anyway. I blow this up. Oh, okay. I get it. I have to... I have to do the thing. Um... Hook shot over. But that doesn't help me at all right now because I don't have that extra key. And now... Now what do I do? <laughs> so there's this chest over here. Which I don't know how to get to. This takes us outside. Huh. But just to confirm, this does nothing, right? Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Drago says, You heard the story about my scars on my face. Well, my back is worse and my hands have scars from boxing. Ah. I hear you. That's a fair reason for what... I mean, you can get tattoos for whatever you want, but... I understand. Huh. Let's go back and explore... This other area over here. Yeah, maybe killing this guy is going to get us something? Maybe. Let's try it. Nothing here. Alright, is there something around here then? Yes. Oh. I wanted to invite... I was invited to team with some Fortnite streamers. I had to say no because I play for fun and not for money. Um. Okay. Like, was... Were they going to pay you to be on stream, or like, 
Were you playing in a tournament? Like, what was the context exactly? I don't understand. All right, so there's something here. What do we got to do? Owlboy, tell me. If the statue looks strange, shoot it with the bow. I did shoot it with the bow. I'm shooting it with the bow. Or is it not this statue? Oh, wait, what? I'm pretty sure this is like the only hump in the entire game like this. <laughs> okay, so we got one more key. Let's go here. I'm pretty sure I have to go back there. Is there like an easy way over or I'm going to have to walk all the way? I think we're going to have to walk all the way around. Okay. I know I've been having kind of a rough go at it. This is actually smoother than the experience I had playing this the first time around. <laughs> Also, like, realizing now, I went shopping with my wife uh, yesterday. It's Christmas time, guys. Uh, a lot of stores have a whole bunch of Christmas stuff up, and... What do you guys... What, what's on your Christmas wish list? Just out of curiosity, what, what, are you, what are you looking for? I think right now I have... I don't know, I'm weird to shop for. I think some things game wise Borderlands 3 would be cool uh, Ring Fit would be cool uh, Possibly some streaming stuff But I, I waffle on what I want So much Drago says I got an email and it was to team up for the whole squads arena For Fortnite They wanted me to team with them ah, Okay uh... Are you serious? Okay Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I messed up the thing. I... Yeah, this is supposed to be open. And all I had to do was not flip the switch. Way back when. <laughs> ah. Ian says, Pokemon, Luigi's Mansion, and Dragon Quest Builders 2 are the main things on my wish list for the holidays. Good choices. Uh, yeah. Other video games. Yeah, it would probably be Ring Fit. I should write these down. I should write these down. Because I know people are going to ask me. Also, uh, the Raptors are winning 58-66 against the Sacramento Kings, just in case you were wondering. Go Raps. Hashtag We the North. I've got my uh, this shirt I bought yesterday, it is a purple shirt with the Toronto Raptors, the new logo on it with the old colors. I thought that was a pretty dope mix. Uh, what was I supposed to do again? Oh yeah, Christmas wishlist stuff. I had a, I had a running list, I think. Xmas wishlist. Um, Borderlands 3, this board game, Lantern's Dice, which is a, a mix, uh, like it's a dice version of one of my favorite board games, Lantern's. And I have the lighting here, which that's a little weird. I I bought some lights, actually. I posted about it on my Instagram stories. I bought some smart lights to hook up to this light fixture up here. Oh, you can't see the light fixture. Sorry about that. Um, one, it's the wrong plug. And so it wasn't going to work anyway. Uh, but two, they wouldn't connect to my Wi-Fi network at all. Like, I put it into the proper socket, and then it would blink. And it just wouldn't connect. And so they were completely useless. I saw 
a bunch of people complain about that exact same problem. And I'm going to have to return those at Costco. Alright, there's a, a switch. I think it's here. Wait, no, it's here. This is the one. I need to go there. Um, pin. Let's go treasure chest. I know it's not a treasure chest. But let's go there. Yeah, I think streaming is, like, sort of the easiest in that there's a lot of stuff I want, but, like... Yeah, I waffle so much. I... Like, I'm interested in getting... Pretty much upgrading everything. <laughs> um, I use a very rudimentary setup for... All my stuff. Oh, I can't get out of here, can I? Oh, I want the... Okay. I get it. I get it. Like, I could probably... No games for me, just consoles for my daughters and a new camera for vlogging. Ooh. What do you use right now to vlog? Yeah, I don't think my life is nearly interesting enough to support a vlog. <laughs> I don't know if it ever will be. I think vlogging is one of the uh, most challenging forms of online content to keep up with. Just because my life isn't all that interesting on a day-to-day -day basis. I, 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 I couldn't fill it up like... I don't think I have enough stuff that's interesting on a day-to-day -day basis to, that's worth vlogging at all, so I don't think it's going to be something I make, incorporate into my mix. But yeah, kudos to you if you, you've got it going on and you enjoy it. But yeah, there are some vloggers. Um, I don't want to name names. I, there was one that my wife used to follow a lot because this particular... I mean, I might give it away or someone could put together the dots or piece together the... Connect the dots. It was this vlogger who was dating this other YouTuber who specialized in DIY videos. And... When they broke up, I noticed a very... Uh, different shift in their their videos and what they were making and it just seemed like such a reach what they were doing their behavior on it just felt very i need to come up with content for my vlog and i'm gonna do outlandish stuff that wouldn't actually be part of my day-to-day -day life but i need content for the the channel to keep the the views coming and the revenue going and oh it, 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 it didn't seem all that interesting to me <laughs> and Drago says, yeah, I get who you're talking about. Mm, okay, we should be good. Up the stairs? No, not up the stairs. So yeah, Drago, what is your process for vlogging then? Like, how do you... Do you just, like, wake up every day and are just like, I'm just going to record everything? Or do you have, like, a game plan of these are the things I'm doing today and here's the opportunities I can film stuff and here's kind of the story that I'm going to tell through this vlog? Man, this, this dungeon is... <laughs> Alright. go 
If you're just tuning in, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda. And I... Oh, oh I done... Go okay. I don't remember how to beat this guy. I think this is one of those ones where you just have to, like, hit him in the... Okay. Hit him in the back. Yeah, wait for the big swing. There we go. Oh. Or do you jump over him? Oof. Whatever, my strategy worked. Ooh, where are we going now? Let's go get this chest. Da, na, na, na. Fire rod. Well, the magic rod. Okay. Now you can burn things. Burn it. Burn it all down. So I know I have to go here. For sure I have to go here. Let's do that. How do I get there? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's warp first. Fun fact, that message used to say, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Yeah, because the much more relevant message at... Well, I guess even at the time, that whole, like, burn, baby, burn was not timely. But I guess it'd be even more dated now. All right. How far are we into the stream? Like, over an hour? Alright. I think we'll be... I think I'm almost done. And the boss shouldn't be too bad. I will be to hang out for a bit, and we can close the book on this. And Ian, I'll have to get back to you on uh, possibly a test or a rehearsal day. Um... Uh, because some stuff happened during the extra live stream, which you probably saw, where my Discord calls, when I called people in, some bad stuff happened on the stream. And if I don't change my settings, that's going to happen when we do this again. So, um, I think I know what to fix. But I, ideally, I'd like to test before then. I'll have to get back to you on if we can make that happen before then. You say, all I'm going to say is my wife. Okay. <laughs> So now we have the fire rod, which is great. Um, this one was one that needed fire, and then I think this one also needed fire. So let's go back here. One of those two is going to get us to where we need to go. And Ian says, yeah, just keep me posted. Hmm. Are any of you guys curious or interested at all in Google Stadia, which is coming out, I believe, this month in some form? I know they've announced some, there's been some delays to certain things, and it's starting to look kind of sketchy what the service is, but I still think if they get it right, that is the future of video games, and everything is going to be like that, and everything that isn't that will get left in the dust. I think that streaming format is going to be the way 
all video games will eventually be distributed. All right, fire rod. Ah, okay, so this was the, the clover. Nice. And Ian says, I'm personally not super interested in the Stadia, but will definitely be interested to see how it does. And Drago says, my country's internet will not allow a stable connection for the Stadia, even if I wanted to get it. Mm. I think that is the fundamental problem. I don't know if anyone's country has internet that is going to be stable enough to run Stadia. Yeah, I feel like the Stadia, for what it's trying to do, especially with 4K and 8K streaming, is like one generation of internet ahead. Like when we get the internet too and everyone has the five connections, uh, when gigabit internet becomes a thing, sure, we're definitely not there right now. Like, Canada, I know, is one of the early adopters of high-speed internet. Canada's had high speed since the early 2000s. But even now, like, most people don't have speeds to support, like, 4K game streaming or anything like that. Oh. Took a little swim there. Yeah, I think that's my fun... The, the two big concerns I have with Google Stadia are one do does the world actually have the internet infrastructure to support a game streaming service of this style and two what games do you have they've been really cagey about what games they have like they've announced a couple of like ubisoft games and a couple bethesda games but not really seeing a lot at the moment I think that part is going to be a lot easier to fix than the internet part. Like, adding in fast enough internet for the entire world to use your your game streaming service seems like a whole can of worms that I clearly don't have the answer to, and you're probably doing lots of construction and all sorts of stuff to make that happen. There we go, boss key. Let's get it. And now we gotta go all the way back to the square. Drago says, I wanna play some classic Duke Nukem 3D tomorrow. Oh. I have not played a lot of that particular game, but I did play it on the Nintendo 64 if that counts. If it doesn't count, I totally understand it. That's fine. Um, that is the, yeah, the only version of Duke Nukem 3D I played was the Nintendo 64 version. And it was okay. I, I bet it's aged horribly <laughs> in hindsight. I think particularly some of the, the raunchy comments and stuff. Side note, it counts kinda, okay. Speaking of things that have not aged particularly well, during Halloween, my wife and I watched Beetlejuice. And in a couple of ways, that movie has not aged particularly well. One of those is the visuals. It, the, it has a lot of stop motion animation and it's very obvious when you're not looking at real people anymore and it, it kind of lo it looks really cheesy uh but the bigger one is like beetlejuice himself i don't know if you guys remember this like my primary memory of beetlejuice is the beetlejuice cartoon and it was just like here's beetlejuice and lydia and their friends and they they jump around between the real world and the weird uh fantasy world with like the the dune sandworms and stuff but, like, Beetlejuice is a pervert. 
<laughs> like it, it yeah. <laughs> in the movie for sure. Like he he is such a horn dog in that movie. And it definitely made me feel a certain way watching it. Like I guess you could do some of that stuff now, but like it is definitely not aged in not aged well. Um, I'm pretty sure I melted these in, like, a bad order, so we're gonna have to try that again. Mm. What is the order of operations here? I remember doing this the first try first time, like, immediately, no problem. And I'm pretty sure I messed it up. Try that again. See, so yeah, Drago. Besides Duke, I, I sh hold on. Before we we get off of Duke, um, what's your story with Duke Nukem 3D? Like, how did you get into that game? What am I missing here? Uh, is it this? I think I know it. I think I know it. Ah! Yeah, my my original experience with Duke Nukem was the original Duke Nukem. My cousin had like a shareware version of the game and we played Yeah, it was like Duke Nukem and Jazz Jackrabbit. I don't know if you remember Jazz ja the Jazz Jackrabbit. They were both like 2D sort of action run and gun games and Yeah, there's no way I am getting across here. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Mm. If I shoot up this way... And I shoot across... This way? Like, that gets me here, but I'm still... Nah. Alright. Let's try this again. The piece I need to conserve... There. Aha! Yeah, like I remember playing Duke Nukem, the shareware version, and then playing Duke Nukem 3D on the Nintendo 64. And the whole talk was like, oh man, Duke has all these really inappropriate catchphrases. Oh, here we go. Voice acting time. <laughs> Crack whoosh. You're finished. I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens. And Drago says, oh, we had a family friend. He was from the U.S. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is not something you beat with the fire rod. Hold up. Oh, we had a family friend. He was from the U.S. at the time. South Africa didn't have a lot of PCs, and he had this PC he had brought with him, and I just started playing. I was like seven. Oh, okay. Also, I totally do not remember how to beat this boss. Mm. Oh, actually the fire rod? Oh, okay. And Randy says, speaking of 90s software, I literally just learned that Mavis Beacon wasn't a real person. 
Ian says, this boss fight was surprisingly fast, I thought. Okay, we will... I will see if I can quickly dispatch of this... Is it just zap it with the fire rod over and over again? Like, really? And Ian says the fire rod thing threw me off too. I, I guess you fight fire with fire. Yeah, that's really weird. But okay. Oh man, I am missing all my shots right now. There we go. Crackle, why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you two are in the dream. Yeah, that was kind of a weak boss. <laughs> You got a heart container. Man, 90s shareware games, like I think Doom, I remember not being that running on our 386 computer and getting like the packet of discs from the clearance bin and just here's all the shareware games. That's how 90s cartoons sounded. <laughs> yep. All right, so you guys remember the directions from two weeks ago? Because uh, I sure don't, and that's why I took a picture, but that was weeks ago, and I've taken a ton of pictures since. So let me see if I can get the directions. Oh, gee, I wonder where you're supposed to go next. <laughs> Knowing where to go next is fine. It's the directions that are going to be tricky here. I hope I... I mean, I could just take another picture, a fresh picture with the book of the book but I'm hoping I can find ah here it is okay we got it right here still got it on my phone and let's go and take out this boss once and for all And Drago asks, am I a Dragon Ball fan? Um, kinda. I, I definitely watched it growing up. I watched... Dra I watched a little bit of the original Dragon Ball, but mostly Dragon Ball Z. And I watched from the beginning of that, like Raditz. Raditz to... Um, Frieza Saga, like in full, and then I saw a little bit of Cell, and then I stopped. But yeah, I do have a soft spot in my heart for that series. Didn't really look not not so much a fan of all the filler episodes <laughs> when they would just like sit there for half an hour and just uh, just charging for the entire thing. <laughs> All right, egg time.
You're excited for the Dragon Ball Kakarot game. I played that. I played a bit of that at um, Fan Expo this year. And Ian says, listen, Piccolo's flexing was beautiful and every second of those episodes had great meaning and significance. <laughs> Man, I... I love Piccolo for being Gohan's actual father, but I always felt bad for Piccolo of just being like such a cool design and like such a cool character, but he was always like pretty strong, but never really strong enough to compete against the Saiyans. So like he could always take out like the early jobber guys, but then as soon as like the big bad came around, he was just not good enough. Uh, but I did play Dragon Ball Kakarot. It looks gorgeous. I will say that much. And it's kind of a mix of, like, an RPG with the... Those those Dragon Ball 3D fighter ga fighting games. Not Dragon Ball... Like, Jump Force. If you made Jump Force an RPG, where you had kind of, like, hub point, like a hub world, and you could go around and fly to different things. It's like that. The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Woo, woo. And Ian says one of my favorite things about him was that he at least kept some sort kept up with the Saiyans without actually being one. Yeah. He he would kind of like he would train a bunch and then he will absorb his family and friends to get like stronger. So like he was still kinda around the power level, but never enough. And Ian says, unlike dudes like Krillin or Yamcha, who literally would die if a villain sneezed on them. Yeah, the <laughs> Krillin and Yamcha were, like, bad from the beginning, and they were always bad. <laughs> and yeah, Drago says they did Piccolo dirty so many times. Absolutely true. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Oh, did I mess this up already? Oh, here we go. Uh, we want to go right up left 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 and then up three times. Also, we should change out our weapons here. Actually, I think I need dust first. Up. 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 Yep. Yeah. I actually have something cool I can show you. If you were into, like, Japanese anime, I have some stuff. I have a blog post coming up. I think it's this week about some games I imported from Japan. And Dragon Ball's related. Maybe we'll do that after this. To the left, to the left. Everything. Okay, here we go. Controversial opinion. Controversial music opinion. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to get buried into oblivion uh, for this take. I think Beyonce is overrated. I, I'm not going to take away the awards. Uh, she's got some like critically acclaimed albums. People really love Lemonade. I think it's pretty good. Um, she's got some bops for sure. But she's kind of hit this level where people see her as this like royalty like figure in pop and i don't think she's deserving of that like i don't think her resume is strong enough to warrant her being treated as this sort of like deity in pop music i think she has some she has some good music she has she's sold quite a bit i think my counter argument is rihanna and i know people have this perception of rihanna being like maybe too street or, like, not on the same level as Beyonce, but if you look at their sales, and you look at the number of hit singles, Rihanna crushes Beyonce. And I'm not even, like, I'm not even, like, trying to be, like, a Rihanna stan or anything like that, but you look at the volume of singles, volume of hit songs, and the sales, Rihanna is, like, way up there. Like, one of the top-selling artists, one of the biggest hit artists of all time, bigger than Beyonce. But no one will ever put Rihanna above Beyonce. Ever, 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 ever. Just saying. 
Ian says, I don't listen to her stuff enough to really have a strong opinion about her. Pop music is one of the genres I listen to the least. At least modern pop. That is fair. <laughs> you talk in figures, you write. And yeah, that's, that, that, that is all. I think that, I don't know if it's like Re Beyonce's too high or Rihanna's too low. I think they are closer in stature than people will ever give Re Rihanna credit for. We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. Heh <laughs> heh. You can never defeat us. Let's rumble. And Ian says, this boss wrecked me so badly when I got to the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to beat. I just remember that the, the dust, I have to salt bay it at the first step, I think. Oof. Is it the du Yeah. Oof. Everything after that, this, I'd have no idea. I know at a certain point, the dust isn't going to work. Alright, the rod's not going to work. Is it a bomb? Oh, do I just reflect it back? That might be it. Nope. Or do I hit the ball back? Classic, uh... Yes! Oh, oh yeah, I remember this. Okay. And Ian says the Ganon... Okay, I'll read that, like, in a sec. The Ganon from form was the one that gave me the huge trouble. The attacks that do work on him don't necessarily work consistently, so I gave up on the technique that actually works because it seemed like they wouldn't work at first. Hmm. Okay. Ah. Ugh. All right. After this, we will do um, anime game show and tell. I have some anime games, some of which are actually from Japan. Eesh. Also, four hearts net lo left. Not looking too great, but we do have the... We do have the secret medicine. We do have a fairy. I think we'll be okay. Ah! Drago says, I have to say goodbye, everyone. It's 4.37 a.m. I'm tired from all the writing about creepy voodoo curses now, so I have to take a rest. Good night, Drago. Thank you for dropping by. Always appreciate you coming through. Uh, take care. Get some rest. And we'll see you next time. Ian says, man, Drago's staying up till after 4 a.m. here, his time, and I'm here barely holding on at 9.40. I hear you. Yeah, 4.30, I, I ain't staying up till 4.30 a.m. for anybody. <laughs> uh, how do I... There's gotta be... Can I, like peck that at this from the distance, perhaps? Nah. Okay. Fairy or medicine? Alright, we got the, the full stack.
that. Oh, I can't remember the trick to this. It was something about having to kill the birds, right? I don't remember the trick to this or just dodging them and then oh man what was the What was the trick? I don't want to go out like this. That's exactly how you died. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm totally down to take a spoiler here. What was the trick? You can only damage him with a spin attack or a Pegasus charge while he is throwing the trident. Ah! But like, how are you even supposed to get there? Wait, but I had a fairy! I had a lot more luck with the Pegasus charge. I guess I should go get some more hearts. Ugh. Do I go back to that other dungeon and get the... the potion? Oh, you have to activate them, that's why... Lame. Yeah, I think I did the spin attack last time. To beat him, but I, I don't remember. We'll, we'll just do what works. We'll find something that works and stick to it. Is there a fairy around here where I can just quickly revive? Maybe down here? But we might actually find stuff before we even get there. Yeah, what was down here? Nope. Now we've taken quite the detour here. <laughs> hmm. We can do this, though. And Ian says, yeah, I tried both the spin attack and the charge. I guess I was clipping the trident, but neither worked, so I did two additional times by not using those attacks because I thought they couldn't damage them. Hmm. You got a piece of heart. Hey, that recharged. Okay. Ooh, 
Would it help if we just saved? Because I don't want to have to go and fish for hearts again. Got anything exciting going on this weekend? Now, for everybody else in the chat, what, what do you got going on this weekend? Uh, at this point, I'm going to see... Probably going to see the in-laws on Saturday. And I'm going to get my... Uh, my winter tires put in and my oil changed. Very exciting stuff. It's a, it's a bonding moment for my father-in-law and I. He is a... He is a gearhead. And he... He really wants me and uh, Michelle's boyfriend, Yasha, to get more into cars like he is. And so, yeah, for the last few years, I've been doing... I've been working with him to change the tires on my car, and we did the brakes. I think it was earlier this year. Ian says, probably going to do a lot of blogging Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, we're going to an aquarium with my grandparents. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, up here we have the, the Ripley's Aquarium. And it's actually funny. That used to be a client of ours at my work. And th there there's a video running outside to, like, promote the the aquarium and my cousins my my cousin my relatives are in it and they're still on the video like five six years later they're still in the video and for a time steph and i were in that video too so uh potentially millions of people have seen steph and i at the front of the aquarium <laughs> Great, all the hearts gone. All those... I sh... Uh... Okay. I mean, the rod's not gonna do anything, we know that. But... Well... We should be better prepared now. Bring it. Alright, let's try let's try your strategy, Ian. I'm gonna try running at this guy. Oh, hold on. One thing at a time. Gotta go and smack that booty. Move your body like a snake, snake ma. Ah. All right. Here we go. So dodge all the birds. Just gonna use it. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I feel like I I did something like. Nope, that definitely wasn't it. All right, I'm gonna go with the running attack.
Yeah, if we get it to, like, go way off to the side, and then... Nope! Stop! <clears throat> okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. If we can get it to throw there... Yeah, if I can just, like, not r have to run at a diagonal. That kind of stinks that I take the hit every time. But, alright. Ah. Silly hit. Okay. What are we trying to do? Ah, fire rod. Oh. Please tell me that's it. No. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. This is arrows to the face, right? Uh-oh. I don't know if I have enough uh, of anything right now. I don't think we're going to make it, guys. No! And I don't have a fairy now, do I? Okay. Um, where was the closest fairy thing? I don't actually know if... Oh, here, in the forest. Okay. Oh, the salt is so real right now. <laughs> I'm so mad. We'll get it, though. We're, we're going to do this tonight, one way or another. I think the fact that we're already at the final boss, and... It'll happen. Out of here. Third time's the charm, right? And Ian, is this an aquarium you go to a lot, or have you been to this one before? Close your eyes and relax. I mean, that's cool, but... I still don't have another fairy... Where can I catch a fairy? Or can I buy a fairy? I don't know. 
Ian says, I've been a couple times throughout my life, but not frequently. This would be the first time my son has been there, and I think the second time Destiny has has been. Awesome! I Yeah, being able to take your, your son there for the first time must be exciting. I don't know if for him to get to see, like, that type of wildlife for potentially the first time. That's awesome. Yeah, what is, um, like, your son into in terms of, like, shows he watches? Does he have any interest in, like, uh, animals or vehicles, superheroes, anything like that? I'm always very curious about, like, little kids' interests and what they gravitate towards at that age. Alright, so we're gonna go into this now. I'm just gonna... YOLO. Right, up, left, left, left. Up, up, up. Go right. Up. Ooh, do I have enough? I should have enough. I only need to hit three times. But we're also running short on supplies. Up. Ooh, do I have enough arrows? That's the... Oh, man. I may not have enough arrows. What happens if I run out of arrows? Man, this is gonna suck if I don't have enough arrows. Alright, we will find out. Just gotta make every shot count. Uh-oh. And Ian says he's a big superhero fan. Recently he's been getting into some of my old cartoons like Danny Phantom and Avatar The Last Airbender. Ooh. He also likes books and building with blocks and playing action figures. He calls it making toys talks. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I've never heard of Danny Phantom. Avatar The Last Airbender I have heard of. I didn't watch that, though. That was after my time. Yeah, but that, that's neat, playing with the superheroes and <laughs> make toys talk. That's, that's definitely a way... Uh, describing it. Yeah, I think kids have a very fascinating way of describing the world. A very neat perspective. Alright. Alright, we're doing great so far. Don't jinx it. Darn it, okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the dash attack. That seemed to work better. There. And Ian says, Danny Phantom is by the same guy who made fairy Fairly Odd Parents. If you ever saw that show. No, I did not. <laughs> it's about a high schooler whose parents hunt ghosts. And they accidentally turn him turn him into a half ghost superhero. It's a typical superhero show. New villain each week. Kid dealing with powers and teenage problems at the same time. Witty banter. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I grew up on like all the 80s cartoons, so your stuff like um, Thundercats and He-Man and the Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters. But I also remember liking, I feel like there was a Superman cartoon, the 60s Spider-Man cartoon I remember seeing a lot. Um, Mighty Mouse was a big one for me as well. Man, no one shows my mouse anymore. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting, like, now that I think back on those days of watching cartoons as a kid. Um, we used to watch Flintstones reruns, and that show was, like, 30 years old by the time I, I was watching it. And, like, no one's showing the Flintstones now. It's not like we're short on material, like cartoons stuff. Ah! I lost so much health there. Oh man, Thundercats. It's been ages since I've seen that one. My mom was a big He-Man fan. Hmm. Flintstones reruns were still a thing when I was a kid too. Okay. See, I thought they'd ended long before then, but if the Flintstones are still going, that's fantastic. Because that was a good show. It's weird. The Flintstones I remember seeing a lot. I almost never saw the Jetsons. Uh-oh. So we've got four and a half hearts to do this last bit. Well, the last two bits here. Three and a half hearts. Twelve shots, three and a half hearts. So I probably get hit like four times. What's gonna happen? Faco's Pie Robot says, I think Chorus has the rights to all those old shows since they set up Teletoon Retro. Hmm, okay. Also, how you doing this evening, Fake Ghost Pie Robot? Uh oh, two and a half hearts. This is bad. This is bad. If I had a fairy. One and a half. <laughs> Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes! Please be it! Please be it! This island is going to disappear! Our world is going to disappear! Our world. Our world. Fake and Fake Spy Robot says, This fight looks bananas, by the way. <laughs> and watching the Raptors while the laundry runs. Are the Raptors winning? Please tell me they're winning. So I've still got the Raptors gear on. I know I can't watch the game. And Ian says, Jet using the pro strats now. That's the last one. Woo! Climb the stairs before you. Let's do it. Trying hard not to be. <laughs> Woo. Young lad, I mean, Jets, the hero, you have defeated the nightmares and have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. <clears throat> As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Hold on, I need some water. Oh, man. <coughs> Then you, 
Jets came to rescue the island. Ian says, can Link come and defeat my nightmares next? <laughs> I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Jets. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Woo. Those voices did a number on my throat. <clears throat> I am the windfish. It sounds like the owl. I need another voice. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Colent will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. In the chat, <laughs> Fake Goes By Robot says, Space whales will never not be rad. <laughs> and Ian says, The wind fish in name only, for it is neither. <laughs> Come, Jets. Let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Jam out. It's a bop. Watching the island fade away is really sad, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Ah! Sorry, adding my own vocal effects there. In Raptors news, Kyle Lowry might die of old age in February at this rate. I know, Nick Nurse has to trust someone. Just play anybody. They've been putting way too many... She should be getting the load management. Ta-da, space whale. He's still stranded in the middle of the ocean, though. <laughs> like, it didn't really get any better for Link. If anything, it's worse that he's no longer on a magical island. He's just stranded in the middle of the ocean. And ta-da! There it is. Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. That's my second time playing through it. First time on stream. Uh, that game... This, this game is really good. But the music is happy now. <laughs> 
If I press start, does it just... Link's Awakening 2 is just a button masher where you paddle back to land as fast as possible. <laughs> oh. If I press start, does this just, like, skip and we don't get, like, whatever the secret thing at the end is? I don't remember if there's anything crazy at the end of this one. Because I kind of want to take a minute to grab some anime games in the meantime. Turns out Space Whale was kind of a dick. <laughs> Where's the ride, brah? Yep. Alright, while this is going, I'm gonna grab a couple anime games. Real villain <laughs> twist ending. I'm gonna grab a couple anime games for anime show and tell, and then we will call it a night. Give me a sec. Just checking. I'll be there. <clears throat> Couple more. I hope the anime show and tell is good, boys and girls, unlike my. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, the end. We did it. We did the thing. Poor my. <clears throat> and yeah, of the the of the characters from that world, I would have greatly preferred if it was my over Terry, uh, but. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Meanwhile, Bayonetta's in the game, and... <clears throat> Anywho! Alright, I just need some, like, steady background music here. Um, maybe we'll use... What has, like, good backdrop music? Mmm... Here, let's set the Luigi... I don't even know what the Luigi's Mansion 3 starting music sounds like. We'll just let that go in the back, and we'll talk about anime games. So I've got a couple games. I mean, not all of these are based on anime, uh, but they are, I I would think, follow the, the, the art direction and the storytelling of, <clears throat> of anime. And so right off the bat... Uh, the first one I immediately gravitated towards. I don't know if this is the right music for anime. Do we have anime music? Do I have, like, an anime game here? Oh, Blaze Blue. Yeah, that would be an anime game. <laughs> Alright, let's just have that game run in the back. Just to set the mood. Um, yes, but this game is fighting game and i have super obvious this whole thing that started this uh dragon ball and this is dragon ball fighters on the ps4 uh this game definitely sent shockwaves throughout the industry for like one it's a really good fighting game but two like holy cow the graphics in this game look better than the anime itself when like arc system works does an incredible job with their graphics in their games doing like amazing 2d sprite work 
And at some point with Guilty Gear in this generation, they figured out how to make that work in 3D. So when you look at Guilty Gear and you look at Dragon Ball, all of that is rendered in 3D, even though it looks like 2D art. So they're able to do things that... Oh man, hold up. The volume <laughs> is way too loud. Uh, let me turn that down. But yeah, I hope this music is anime enough for this particular segment of the show. Alright. Yeah, let me know if that's okay. Uh, but yeah, like a bunch of the heavy hitters are here. There's like 800 different versions of Goku. Uh, Vegeta's in here. Gogeta, Trunks. Piccolo is actually pretty decent. He's a little hard to learn, uh, but he's a lot of fun. My favorite character in this game, though, Android 16. Where he could just like dunk people into the ground multiple times in a combo. And he had his one super move that was an instant kill. If he grabbed you in it, automatic loss. That character was just dead. Um, but you can only do it like once a match. And if you whiff, like that was it. And it was really hard grab to pull off. But when you pull that move off in game, one of the best feelings in any fighting game, period. So yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh... Pour one out for Android 16. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the suicide move. So good. Um, and it's cool that they pulled that in from the show. And yeah, one of the other things is a lot of the moves and the animations are like shot for shot exactly the same as the cartoon. Or the anime, sorry. I, th I stopped playing this one partially because the matchmaking in it's really bad. And the... It just got a little samey. Like... It, so much of the mechanics are streamlined to make it work for a broader audience, but almost every character plays, like, the same. It's just like, yo, hit the dash button, everyone flies in each other's face, and then you just do crazy stuff that people can't block. Um, that's kind of why I prefer Blaze Blue more uh, in the long run, but, yeah, I'm not very good at Blaze Blue. That's a fun game, though. Not part of our anime show-and-tell. I should have had that, though. Um, maybe my favorite... I just dropped the whole set. Maybe my favorite anime game of this bunch. And you guys can debate whether or not this is anime. I think it's pretty anime. Catherine. I take every opportunity to talk about Catherine. Because I think this is a phenomenal title. That I think I'll, it, it did sell really well for Atlas, relatively speaking. And they just put out the remaster on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I think it came out on Xbox. At the very least, it's on PS4. And... The whole story of the game, it's like a mix of a sort of like a walk, Telltale's Walking Dead game where there's people you talk to in the world and there's some decision making. It's half that, half puzzle game where, oh man, this requires some setup. You are playing as Vincent and he has a fiance named Catherine with a K. And he ends up... Oh, fake. Ghostfire Robot says, My daughter is crazy into Dragon Ball right now. She found a girl Goku costume, and telling her she couldn't get it for Halloween was... Tricky. Hmm. <laughs> um, there actually is, like, a female Super Saiyan in modern Dragon Ball. I think they added her recently. What was I gonna say now? Black Adam. Yes! So, you're a guy, you have a fiancé named Catherine with a K, and then a girl named Catherine with a C shows up in your life, and now you start catching feelings, and you're like, uh, oh, where do I go? But at the same time, there's this weird phenomenon where guys are having nightmares, and they're dying in their nightmares, and this is where the, the whole block solving thing comes, where you have to climb up these towers, and if you don't make it to the top, you die in real life. It's a weird thing, but I really loved this game at the time. Uh, partially because the puzzle solving part was really cool. And because the, the whole dating aspect of it. And just the, the subject matter of uh, romance and infidelity. is just a subject that isn't really talked about in video games. And I thought, like one, it was cool that they covered it at all. And two, they kind of had an interesting take on it. And so Catherine is one of those games that like... I haven't played this since I finished it, but it's a game that's stayed at the top of my mind ever since. And I do want to pick it up on PS4 at some point and play it again. And possibly stream it, because, yeah, this is such a cool game and I would love to experience this again. And share this with you guys as well. 
<laughs> yeah, this was just basically an orange bean. <laughs> yeah, there's got there's got to be a way. I'm sure you could find either like a Goku costume, or um, yeah, some variation of it. Like you don't necessarily need like Super Saiyan Goku where the, the top is like ripped off. Anyway, <laughs> um, two more things, and I'll talk about two of these together. Uh, this is uh, Bleach. So this is... Oh, one of these I'm holding the wrong way. Um, these are DS fighting games uh, about the Bleach anime. So, like, characters like Ichigo, who's the main guy, uh, Rukia, Byaku, like, that whole crew... Uh, what's the story? Like, it's a teenage guy, and then he gets visited by this girl, and then they all become, like, they all have, like, ninja powers and stuff, and their swords transform into, like, super, like, I can't, it's hard to explain. Uh, but I, I ended up stumbling on this series not because of the anime, but because I was looking for games to play on the DS, and I'd always heard that the... There, there were a lot of great Japanese games that just hadn't come out here or were never coming out here, and Bleach was one of them. And so I, I ordered it online, and, like, it is such a cool fighting game. Maybe not the most balanced, but it was so much fun, and it inspired me to actually watch the anime. And at that point, then I watched, like, the first hundred episodes of Bleach. And Bleach, eventually both of these games did come out in English in North America. This one... The second one is actually called Bleach Dark Souls, about a decade before Dark Souls came out. So, um, I don't know what Sega had to say about Namco's game, but these were very cool fighting games for the time. Ian says that explaining anime is never easy in my experience. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Oh, so there's actually two more games. Two more games. Is it two more? Yeah, it's two more. Uh, this game is in incredibly anime uh this is one from capcom uh phoenix wright pretty anime as well this is like on the other end of the spectrum this is asura's wrath and i picked this one up in a clearance bin i'd heard some things about this like it's imagine god of war where 60 percent of the game is quick time events but oh my goodness the quick time events are nuts like, there's a moment in this game where you're fighting this other deity, and you're in outer space, and he, the other character, like, stabs through your chest and through the other planet behind you. Like, it's nuts. <laughs> Some of the most outlandish action I've ever experienced in a fighting game. Like, in a, in a game, period. There's a lot of story, a lot of cutscenes. Oh, it's mostly quick time events and the parts where you're actually controlling the character and punching stuff isn't that interesting but man the 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 quick time event stuff that they do in this game is absolutely wild so may, may, maybe you don't actually have to play it like you might get the the magic of Asura's wrath just by watching a YouTube let's play uh, but I think you should check this out like at least watch it go like pick a scene pick any of the levels they're all like bonkers last one um maybe the ultimate anime game that i have uh fakos power robot says bleach the show starts strong and tapers off hard yeah i ended up watching till the bound saga so that's like where the vampires started coming in and I, I think that is around the time like my my friend wendy who actually was um if you stayed up all 24 hours, she made a cameo appearance on the marathon at like 2 o'clock in the morning. She came by the house. Uh, as a gift, she gave me the first 100 episodes or so, and I stopped watching after that. And I think it started, the set she gave me like had the first part of the Bound Saga, and that's where I stopped. And Fico Spy Robot says those were non-canon filler. Mm, fair enough. Last game, maybe the ultimate anime game that I have. And this one, I don't think this ever came out in North America. So maybe a little bit of a collector's item, sort of, kind of. Uh, this is Jump Superstars on the Nintendo DS. And this is a game officially licensed by Shonen Jump. And it's Shonen Jump Smash Bros. 
So as you can see, like Naruto's in this game, Dragon Ball characters are in this game, One Piece, like Luffy's on the cover here, um, Yu-Gi-Oh is in here, and a whole bunch of other anime that I have no idea <laughs> who they are. But it's basically Smash Bros with all of the anime characters from from like the Shonen Jump franchises. And some of the things that made it unique is that the the bottom touch screen actually had I don't know if you can see that on the bottom no you can't. Uh, the bottom touch screen okay is actually like comic panels and you would arrange them on your screen and they would be up different sizes and by tapping them you would get different special moves and super moves. And you could customize what was on there uh, to give yourself some different techniques. Fake Ghost Pirate Robot says, I need that in my life, but on my TV and good. <laughs> um, from what I remember, they made a sequel to this as well. Uh, Jump Ultimate Stars, which might be better than this one. I thought it was okay. Uh, I'm just not the biggest Smash Bros. style guy, like fighting game fan, but... I had fun with it. Personally, I would rather play the Bleach fighting game over the, the Jump Superstars, uh, but they were both good. And Ian says, so this is like a precursor to Jump Force. Yes. Actually, yeah, like way before. Um, although I've heard Jump Force is not very good. Um, I can't say, though. I haven't played any of those games. Actually, no, that's not true. I played... Uh, one of the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi's on the Wii. And I remember it was my cousin Michael who brought it to the house and he demolished Randy and I in that game. Like, he's a lot younger than us. Like, he, now he's in, like, college. But at the time, he was, like, eight or nine years old and I was in college and he just obliterated us in it. Yeah, that is... That is it for anime games. I probably could have found a couple more, but I, th I think we had a good run there. And it's late. It's 10.30 at night. I've still got some editing to do. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging out. Um, and again, yeah, thank all you guys for coming out to the marathon. We raised over $1,200 for the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. That's fantastic. Give, give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, for your support, the donations, hanging out, keeping us company, uh, spreading the word. I know at least one person made a donation, like, in the evening, and I was like, oh yeah, my friend passed the link, and then, like, just donated instantly, and that was so cool. So whoever shared that link to that person, I think it was Dave. Uh, thank you. Fake Spire Robot, yes! Mind blown emotes, love it. So yeah, I will be on next on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. We will be playing more Tetris 99. Uh, we're not making donations this time, but we'll play. We'll hang out. Um, at some point, Ian, I don't know if it's going to... I don't know what your schedule is like tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? Oh, well. I will get back to you on possibly trying to test so we can play Pokemon next week. But yeah, Ian will be on the channel. He'll be making... I think you're making your streaming debut. I don't know if you, you've shown your face on the internet as like, hey, this is me, uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll be fun and you'll probably kick my butt really bad in Pokemon. And I guess final, last words, um, make sure to check me out on social media at in third person on both Twitter and Instagram. I'll post when I go live. I post multiple things every day. I've been posting some highlights from the Extra Life Marathon. I do have the Mario getting stuck in the one by one square on deck that's coming at some point i've got some more clips from pictionary air and i've been posting some some other like other clips in my instagram stories and yeah check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits and ian says yes this will be my face reveal oh damn damn that's gonna be exciting i should do a thing like <laughs> like have like a curtain animate and then have it drop down that'd be that'd be something <laughs> yeah it probably won't be like it, i probably won't do any sort of crazy production like that but uh it'll be exciting for you to like finally show to the world what you look like and show you on stream that'll be cool are you excited are you nervous about that actually now that i 
now that I think about it, like, if you are making your, your internet face debut as Adventure Rules, like, nervous at all? while I get this this final answer. I'm trying to remember. Man, I would love to stream this game. Let me show you some sick combos while we're here. If this takes, I'm just gonna waiting for like your one answer yet and then we'll close it out, but. Man, this game is so loud. Get ready. And Ian says, should be fun. I'm not really nervous. I don't anticipate a strong reaction in either direction. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me try and do like one combo. Let's see if I can remember this. One, two, one, two, drop. Bring it down. Ah, I dropped it. I dropped it. Anyway, um, let's see if I can do this one last time. Bring it down. Nope. Nope. All right. Forget it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. <clears throat> I'll be back on Sunday. Um, until then, yeah, check me out on social media. Check out the website, inthirdperson.com. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out this evening. Uh, Ian, uh, Fake Spy Robot, Randy, Dra Drago the Ripper, go get some rest. And let's get out of here. Good night, everybody.